guys, so a lot of you liked my treadmill uh, routine with the printable PDF and requested a Stairmaster routine, so here it is. This is my 20 minute booty building Stairmaster routine. You will sweat, you will burn calories, and you will work those glutes. And again, similar to the treadmill routine, we don't do anything for more than one minute, so this workout is going to fly by. Be sure to print out the PDF or save it to your tablet or phone so that you can take it to the gym with you to do this workout. And if you don't have access to a Stairmaster, be sure to check out my Workout Wednesdays treadmill routine or the other Workout Wednesdays videos that require no equipment. On the Stairmaster, we are going to start uh, with a warm up for about three minutes at a level five. I want you to get used to just walking on the Stairmaster because it can be a little bit funny. And do your best to not hold the bars to support your body weight. The bars are there for balance and I don't want you to feel like you're gonna fall. So if you need to grab them, of course do, but we don't wanna depend on the bars for the entire workout. A good option um, is to keep light fists on top of those bars so that way you're really close if you need to grab, if you feel like you're going to fall, you still have those bars readily available, but we're not uh, putting our entire body weight on the machine. After the warm up, we're going to take it up to an 8, which is going to be our base speed today. We are at an 8 for almost the entire workout. This is not so much an interval workout through speed. We're going to keep the speed the same and we're going to instead change our movements. And if this base speed does feel a little bit fast, you can make your base speed a 7 or a 6. Do what works for you. At that base level 8, we are going to start with a normal walk for just one minute. Then we will continue to climb, keeping the speed in eight and adding on a glute extension. We aren't making the speed any faster, but because we're adding that extension, we have to walk a little bit faster up the stairs to get the leg up behind us. So it will feel a little bit faster without changing the speed. So again, even though we're not changing the physical speed on the machine, we are still creating intervals and your heart rate is still gonna get up. On that glute extension, make sure you are really squeezing that butt as you lift and not just mindlessly lifting it behind you. More squeeze means Means more booty work. We will then turn to one side and do a lateral walk for one minute. Now here, when you turn, by all means, hold on to one bar or both if needed. Just make sure your lower body is doing most of the work. An option is to add an extension out to the side so that we work those abductors. And again, make sure you are squeezing at the top. So we're there for one minute and then we turn all the way to the back. We are gonna walk up the stairs backwards. Please hold the bars on this one. I don't want anyone falling. Um, again, just do your best to use your lower body, but I don't want anyone to let go and then fall because it is a little bit too easy when you're walking backwards to do that. There are no tricks for this interval. You just walk and you think about what you're doing and it's okay to have to think when you work out because you actually burn more calories. So we are making a circle around the Stairmaster because we go from the back then to the other side and laterally walk up the Stairmaster that way. Again, option only if you want it is to add that abductor work with the extension. We make it back around to the front and we are going to go back to either a normal walk or a walk with that glute extension that we did before. Then we have another minute where we're walking with the glute extension, but the option here to make it even more challenging if you want it is to skip a step. So again, we are not changing the speed, but it's gonna feel faster and it's gonna feel harder. Wow! Who knew there are so many ways to walk on a Stairmaster? So again, that skip step is optional. Make sure that you are in the zone, paying attention to what you're doing. I don't want you to trip and fall. Now comes the peak moment in the workout. We are exactly halfway through and we are going to a burnout. It is a sprint. I want you to go as fast as you can for one minute. So try to get anywhere um, from a 16 to a 20. It's gonna feel really, really fast. The key is I want you to still be walking really fast up the stairs. I don't want you to be running. We're not trying to create a dangerous environment here. And if you can't make it the whole minute, maybe you work your way up. Maybe you know you go to 13, 15, 17 every few seconds, working your way up as fast as you can um, throughout the course of the entire minute. Just make sure that you are challenging yourselves and no running, just stepping quickly. You're not adding any dynamic hop at all. All right, after that sprint, I guarantee you will need to recover. So take it back to the eight base level or whatever your base level is, or you might even need to go a little bit lower, that's okay. Take your minute and recover. Now you see a lot of people walking on the Stairmaster at the gym with their arms resting and their entire body weight um, pretty much falling into the machine. They're not using their body weight. I don't want you to do this, but if you need to do it during recovery, that's okay. After that minute though, try to stand back up and walk normally, not using your arms on the bars, uh, even if you have to bring the speed down a little bit. 
after that, we are going to repeat that first segment going all the way around the Stairmaster one more time. So we walk with the glute extension, we turn to the side and do lateral option with the abductor extension. We turn to the back and walk backwards. We turn to the other side and do the lateral, again optional with the abductor extension. And then again back to the front with the regular glute extension or recovery. If you have no idea what I'm saying, just look at the PDF. After that, you do not have another sprint. There is only one sprint, it is in the very middle, and that is it. After you complete the other segment all the way around the Stairmaster, you're going back to recovery. Uh, you're bringing the heart rate down. So take that speed down low. I'm talking like five or three. Let the heart rate recover in those few minutes, and you are done. And you might need a few extra minutes of walking uh, either on the Stairmaster or off before you sit down because your heart rate will get really, really high in this exercise. We never want to completely stop moving after our heart rate gets really high up, so make sure you take a good, lengthy recovery. So there you have it, guys. 20 minutes. It's quick, it's dirty, it's effective. I hope that you will give it a try. Don't forget to download the PDF um, and take it with you on your tablet, phone, or print it out. Don't forget to come back tomorrow because we're posting every day in January and there are still a few days left. And if you've liked the workout videos, please comment below and let me know if you want me to keep them going after the series is over. Let's kickstart to a healthier you. And remember, it's all a matter of mind over munch.